Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a makeup get ready with me video. You guys have been asking me where are the makeup related content we want to see makeup. So here you go. I hope you guys actually watch it because I'm going to be really honest. My makeup videos don't do that great. The view is very low, so it can become a little bit discouraging when you spend hours creating a video and then there is little to no view. So I hope you guys really enjoy this one and comment down below, engage, let me know what you guys want to see in terms of makeup content and I will definitely get that out for you guys. I just want to create content that most of you guys want to see so I need y'all to watch the video um, I do plan on doing some foundation reviews I have a couple of foundations that I've been testing out and I think you guys are gonna be excited to know which one there are we have some really beautiful new ones that um, recently launched that I've already had the chance to test out so look out for that um, let me know what products you want me to review what kind of makeup related content you want to see i need your comment down below and we can definitely work on that we're not going to really talk about my hair she's a little crazy today but i wanted to get this look out for you guys this is like my typical makeup style that i do it's a little bit more on the sultry side but that's okay and um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and give a big big thumbs up as it helps me a lot subscribe if you're new to this channel and let's go and get into it okay guys we're not gonna talk about my hair it's kind of crazy right now it's wash day and yeah that's all I'm gonna say about it so in terms of my makeup I haven't been doing anything too fancy and crazy I honestly do the exact same thing almost every day but just change up the colors the lip color a little bit of the eyeshadow but I do love an everyday neutral look that is just my style unless I want to go with like a smoky eye then I'll pull that off but um yeah let's go ahead and start I'm going to show a bunch of new products that I have been obsessed with as well as some oldies that I already have mentioned on my channel before but you guys wanted a makeup uh, video, so you better watch. So for primer, I've been using this one over here, which is from Urban Decay. It's the uh, Face Primer Longwear Foundation Grip. Now, I don't use a ton of it. I use a very small amount, mainly um, in my uh, cheek area, just to, you know, help the foundation stay put because I love to touch my face it's actually a really bad habit especially if you wear makeup regularly so I like to put that there and what I like about this primer is that it's not drying it's not silicone -y. it actually feels like a nice moisturizer that has a little bit of tackiness to it so I'm comfortable with that it doesn't feel like I'm drying out my skin whatsoever and I've already done my skincare routine and then next I'm gonna go with this brand new mist from Fenty Beauty this is called the what it do uh, makeup refreshing spray so I actually like to put this on before I apply my makeup the mist on this is heavenly like oh it smells super refreshing, almost like if you're walking into a spa, that's the smell that you're going to get. But look at the mist. It's so soothing and soft. Kind of reminds me of the Tatcha um, mist, but this one is even softer. It's beautiful. It feels so good. And it won't disturb your makeup if you want to use it as a refresher because of that very soft, gentle mist. And then I like to do my face first. So I'm going to go in with my foundation. This has been my go-to. Now, I also really love the um, It Cosmetics CC Cream. And I am completely done, pretty much. It still looks like I have product in here, but it is finished. But I also have been loving the new Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. I have the shade T105. I do have a full review, so I'm going to link it over here. You guys can... <clears throat> Where's my voice? <clears throat> you guys can go ahead and check out that review, but I love this foundation. For every day, it is perfect, absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna take about that much. Sometimes I apply it with a brush, sometimes I apply it with my fingers, but today I'm just gonna go ahead and rub it in with my hands and just kind of go ahead and put it all over the face. Now this shade is, it's slightly warmer, but 
we make it work. You know what I'm saying? We make it work. And uh, it looks great. Like, look how skin-like this foundation looks. I love that my freckles are like peeking through, has this beautiful luminous finish, and it just looks like my skin, but like in a better way. So really, really like that foundation. So I am gonna cream contour because I do this pretty often. I'm using my Clinique Chubby Stick. This is an oldie. I talk about this product all the time. It is my favorite. Um, cream product ever. It's more like bronzing to be honest because it is quite a warm product if you look at it. So I do that. I do it here and sometimes a little right here because you know we're working on this. We're working on this situation right over here. <laughs> um, I'm going to grab this brush. This is from uh, NYX Cosmetics. This is the foundation brush. I'm going to use that just to buff that in. But before I do, actually, I'm going to use my concealer because I want to let it sit for a few minutes. Um, I have quite a few concealers that I absolutely love and use regularly. My Touche Clot from YSL. I have it in shade 3.5. Mainly when I want a very, very natural look, I'll use that one. My infallible from uh l'oreal absolutely love it it's the best concealer in the drugstore it just mm. when i'm having really dark circle days this is perfect and then i also love my becca concealer this is called what the writing is so tiny aqua luminous concealer in medium and then i have this one in cashew so Actually, I'm going to take my L'Oreal. Um, very small amount of it. I've been using less product. Before, I used to use a ton of it. But honestly, I'm going to use very little product just to get that natural look. Right here where I see those dips in my eye. Just like that. And then sometimes what I like to do is add a little bit of that um, concealer from Becca right on top. Because it has more of a luminous finish but they're very similar in color so just like that I'm gonna let that sit while I blend out my contour now I don't do too much to my eyebrows I just recently got them threaded as I was growing them out and I really like the shape of them I am trying to grow a little bit more on this side right on top here and then the tail on here and also the tail on here. So I just kind of go in areas that I need a little bit more coverage, but I already have full brows naturally. So I really, really like it. I don't want to change them too much. So I fill in the front here a little bit where it's kind of sparse, just like so and brush that product in and then clean up right at the top just to give it a little bit more shadow in that area like so and then down here Now I'm going to take my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula and I'm going to go ahead and go over that cream contour. And I've talked about this bronzer so many times. It's literally my go-to. I've been using it for the past couple of months and nothing else compares. It's worth every single penny, worth the entire hype. It's so, so good. It's one of my favorite bronzers. It's like super smooth and creamy glides on it doesn't leave any splotchy areas oh and it smells incredible so I really really like it like 
I get a lot of questions on my videos. What bronze are you wearing? Um, 99.9% .9 of the time, it will be the physician's formula. Sometimes I'll do my Fenty Beauty bronzer, but for the most part, I'm using this one for sure. It has a really beautiful warmth to it, but it's not like orangey warm. And then last but not least, we are going to do a little bit of highlighting. I'm taking my Dior Luminizer in 003 and I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, highlighter brush. So for highlighter, I don't go super heavy anymore. I really like it soft and I like it to melt into the skin. So I tap off most of that excess uh, product on the brush and really work that into the skin and give like a very soft kind of lit from within glow that like beaming highlight just isn't for me anymore so I like something a little bit more gentle but still gives you that beautiful glow when you kind of hit the light but in a more softer way and I do like to take my highlighter pretty much all over the cheekbones I don't just stick to the highest points little right on the nose and sometimes I'll do right here because I'm using a very sheer amount of product. I can do that, right? If you're using something that's super intense, I would recommend doing all of this. But um, this is a really buttery highlighter that melts into the skin when you work it with a brush. Um, I'm going to be using this palette over here. This is a gorgeous new palette from Too Faced. It's called their Born This Way uh, Natural, The Natural Nudes. And these shades are absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that. How gorgeous are these colors? So wearable, gorgeous everyday shades, but then you can really play them up and make them super sultry. Uh, let me give you a heads up. These are very pigmented. Let's start off with the shade um, Shell, Seashell, right over here. They do have a little bit of a kick up, but not too much. I'm gonna go ahead and place that in the crease area. See how it looks like it's almost nothing, but then there's quite a bit of color to it. With that very same brush, I'm gonna take the color Warm Rose, gorgeous color right over here, and I'm gonna put it in the crease area, but a little bit lower. So right there. We're adding a little bit more warmth with this gorgeous, uh, warm, nudie pink. This brush over here, this is from Morphe. This is the M511. And I'm taking the color Coco, this beautiful shade right there. And I'm going to apply that mainly in the crease area, the outer crease area. Keep it quite low. This is just going to add some depth, give it more of like a cat eye effect. So then for the entire lid, I am going to take the color Sugared Chestnut and apply that on my eyelids. Oh, stunning. So I do like to apply any shimmer shades with my finger. I just feel like you get the best pigmentation out of them. gorgeous so now mascara 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 I have been loving two mascaras right now these two over here so the first one is an oldie it is from Maybelline it's called the falsies uh, volume express mascara wow wow and then uh the new fenty beauty mascara i also really really like i do like to layer my mascara so i'll kind of go back and forth between the two until i get the results that i'm looking for which are fuller and longer lashes so i'm going to start with my maybelline one and this is what the wand looks like i'll show you guys right there so it looks like that it has a little bit of a curve so it gives a nice lift to the lashes 
I really, really like this one. So I do have to get a new one. It's almost all done because I've been using it nonstop. So I like to take this really close to the base of my lashes and do a hard blink. And I feel that's like what works for me, that technique to really get that product in there. And what I like about this mascara is that it doesn't clump up my lashes. It actually separates them really nicely and gives them like this wispy effect. So onto lips. I use the exact same lip liner. 95% of the time and it's this one over here which I've mentioned on my channel it's from NYX Cosmetics part of their um suede matte lipstick line in the color cold brew it's like the perfect lip liner ever so I'm gonna use this one today and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips with it so right there just like so and then I tried to color or fill in a little of my lip like that so I'm doing it a little softer than what I did on the actual line the pressure that I put kind of creates a bit of an ombre effect like that and then I'm gonna do the same up here like that oh for this look mm, I'm gonna use Fenty uh, beauty gloss and just put that right at the center see how it's not super dark and it just pairs up beautifully with this lip liner I can't wait till Fenty Beauty does lip liners I know she's gonna be creating some bomb lip liners. Oh, how gorgeous is that? It just gives you the most like juicy lip vibe, like absolutely juicy. And just spray that all over, not to set, but just to mm, freshen up all over again. So we are all done with this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. I know some of you guys have been like, Karina, where have your makeup videos gone? All I see is perfume. So I am going to give you guys a lot more makeup content this month. This is the first one. I have some uh, foundation reviews coming up. I think I'm going to do 10 days of foundation. Um, I've just been inspired by other YouTubers that do that kind of concept. So I think I'm going to do something like that because I've been testing out quite a few foundations. Um, so let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. But uh, yeah, this is kind of like my go-to makeup style. It's a little bit more on the sultry side, but I still wear it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the products will be linked down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao.